Right, right in the middle of the coronavirus crisis, there is now a flood fight underway on the lower Mississippi River for the third year in a row. The Army Corps of Engineers will open the Bonnie Carey Spillway, sending river water rushing into Lake Pontchartrain and beyond. As Paul Murphy tells us, the Corps is fighting on two fronts, the rising river and the demand for hospital beds. The Mississippi River is rising. Crews are once again at the Bonnie Carey Spillway, lifting wooden pins and opening the structure about 30 miles upriver from New Orleans. The spillway diverts water from the Mississippi into Lake Pontchartrain, protecting the communities below from potential flooding. To the people who are affected by the opening of the spillway, I ask you to understand that we do this to help save lives, to protect people. Last year's two openings, totaling a combined 123 days, caused a lot of damage to the seafood industry in the normally brackish Lake Pontchartrain Basin in Mississippi Sound. Army Corps New Orleans Commander Colonel Steve Murphy said this year's opening will be shorter in duration and send far less fresh water into the local estuaries. Compared to the, uh, the amount of water we put into Lake Pontchartrain last year, we're only putting, right now, planning to put about 10% of that total volume. The Army Corps of Engineers is now taking on this flood fight here on the lower Mississippi River while also being part of the federal response to the coronavirus outbreak. Army Corps Major General Mark Toy said they are now working with FEMA to build out hospital bed capacity to meet demand during a surge in COVID positive cases across the country. We developed through the Army Corps of Engineers and our expertise concepts of how they can co convert arenas, dorms, hospitals that have closed, hotels, to uh, hospital facilities. As for the Bonnie Carey, the Corps expects to eventually open about a third of the 350 bays. It's expected to remain open for about a month. Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. This is the first time in the Bonnie Carey Spillway's 90-year history that the structure has opened three years in a row.